Welcome back to another Dazzling Rose Clay creation. Today we'll be sculpting dwarf snagrets from Pikmin 4. About this time last year, I sculpted the snagret, which is one of the biggest creations on my channel so far, so I was very excited to see the new cute tiny ones. Knowing Pikmin logic, they could be considered a different species entirely or just the younger version. I don't actually know what these will be called yet, so if you have another suggestion for the name, feel free to put it in the comments below. These other Pikmin enemies in the back are from previous videos. I'll link a playlist of them in the description below so you can check them out after this one. This creation is pretty simple so I decided to make three of them. To start, I made three triangles and used a tool to help me create the web shaped foot for each snag rib. Then I added the claws. Next, I took some eye pins and I'll be encasing them with some clay and using them as the leg. I'll connect the two pieces and angle the leg back, then I'll bake everything. Now it's time to create the body. I'll make a piece towards the bottom where I'll be inserting the leg and then I'll create a pointy part where the tail will go. I'll press the legs into the body underneath to create an indent. Then I'll remove the legs and bake the bodies to solidify them. Now that the pieces are solid, I can easily glue them together without anything getting misshapen or drooping. Next, I'll be creating a scale texture on the body because these creatures are half snake after all. I'll use my tiny circle cutter to make a ton of circles to place along the sides and top of the body. Then I'll do the same with light blue circles and cover the belly and front area. And just like the large snagret, I'll be brushing metallic blue eyeshadow all over the scales to bring them to life and make them look more realistic. Now it's time for the eyes and beak. I'll be making them separate from the head so I can glue them on after. For the eyes, I'll press down each color in layers. For the beak, I'll press the two sides down to create that peak shape and add the lower part. I decided to make one of the beaks open. Now I'll bake these pieces. After the beaks are solid, I'll paint on a blue tip. And surprise, for the head, I won't be using polymer clay. It's hard to see, but in the trailer, the head looks a bit fluffy, like a pom-pom. So that's what I'll be using. Now I'll assemble the face and place the head onto the body to complete the dwarf snagret, or whatever it's gonna be called. If you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out the pikmin playlist in the description as always let me know what you'd like to see next and thank you so much for watching see you next time